Welcome to Extraterrestrial Evidence. And in this video, we're gonna show you one of the greatest photos in history that was dubbed Close Encounters of the First Kind. Let's take you into Extraterrestrial Evidence File E.E. 1646. The Trent Photographs, date May 11, 1950. Place, McMinnville, Oregon. The event, close encounter of the first kind. In the early evening of May 11, 1950 on a small farm in McMinnville, Mrs. Trent was outside feeding her rabbits when she saw the close approach of a large disc-shaped object. She called to her husband, Paul Trent, who brought with him their camera, and Mrs. Trent was able to take two black and white photographs as the object passed across the sky into the direction of Northwest. A local newspaper picked up the story and published the photograph, which were later featured in Life magazine, causing something of a national sensation. At the time, there were some of the best flying saucer photographs available. William Hartman, investigating for the Condon Committee, acknowledged these photographs were the only ones that the committee had not dismissed. As a reference, the Condon Committee was notorious for its unscientific dismissive attitude toward the UFO phenomenon. He stated that the photographs were consistent with the witness testimony that an extraordinary flying object disc-shaped tens of meters in diameter evidently artificial, flew within the sight of two witnesses. In the four decades since the photographs were taken, there have been many more sophisticated analysis techniques employed to study photographs such as edge enhancement, which would show any cuts out photographs through glass or expose any supporting wire and coloring contouring. None have yet suggested that the photographs were faked and the indication suggests that some large object flew over Trent form that day. Now you have the facts of the encounter on May 11, 1950 that was dubbed Close Encounter of the First Kind. I'm Roderick Martin. I want to thank you for watching. Please comment below, share, and like this video. I have over 300 stories that I want to share with you over the next several weeks. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe to the channel.